we need to start uh, adding to our proposition to advertisers. So it's not a question of, of moving from a reach and frequency proposition towards um, a return on investment um, proposition. It, it's a question of adding the return on investment proposition on top of it. Because I think that, that mass reach will always be something that is attractive to advertisers. And I think that traditional media can offer that really credibly. And certainly, uh, even our digital propositions are starting to gain that sort of critical mass. That, that the reach conversation is relatively easy to have, depending on the brand that you are. Um, what we need to be doing, though, is starting to target those advertisers who are under increasing pressure to limit wastage and have much more targeted op um, opportunities towards uh, consumers who are effectively on for their products. What we are trying to do aggressively is develop a deeper understanding of every individual listener that, that comes across our medium. So that we convert these kind of large faceless masses that are listening, aggregating around our FM transmitters. And we start to, through our digital activities, but also through events on the ground and things on, uh, like events, for example, start to, start to understand every one of them such that we start to build these quantified, smaller, engaged communities around certain propositions, be they geographical propositions or sentiment or uh, cultural or any of these kind of groupings, these communities, and build these so-called engaged communities communities in a way that adds direct value to advertisers. So, you know, it's a journey that, that to my mind and in the research that we've done in other markets, uh, certainly in Europe and first world kind of markets, you find that it's not really the predominant conversation. There's still uh, a dominance of, of mass reach uh, propositions and all of the big media groups in the US and the UK and in Paris and, and, and various uh, countries in Europe even their digital propositions are around aggregating large, large numbers of concurrent users. And I think that there's merit in that. And I'm, I'm certainly, it, it's going to be on our agenda as, as, as a media company going forward. But what we're trying to do is concurrently deepen our understanding um, significantly through the, through the uh, activities that we embark on. I think that radio stations in the early days of the internet thought that uh, because we had the opportunity, the loud hail as, as it were, to direct people immediately to this uh, digital proposition, our own website started to get quite a lot of traction really quickly. And so we started to drink our own Kool-Aid and think that we know a bit about this digital um, uh, publishing business. And then, of course, there was a catch-up period when we started to realize what we didn't know because real digital publishers came along and kind of beat us at our own game, if you like. So, so we've, we've had some time scratching our heads and realizing that in, actually in order to do really well in new mediums and in converged mediums we need to bring in new skills and not just expect that we can extrapolate our current understandings into those other mediums and, and achieve the same levels of success. In order to develop new competencies you need to bring in new skills, put them side by side with your traditional and, and, and current strengths and then let through a process of collaboration the learnings transfer onto each other. And, uh, and and that obviously applies to campaigns and converged campaigns. I think that for us to claim um, credibly that we are able to provide converged solutions, we need to have expertise in each one of the components of that campaign. And, uh, and that's what certainly we're, we're gearing up from, from a Kahisa Media perspective, and I'm sure that our competitors are doing, doing the same, that you know, it's, it's not just about traditional radio FM transmission anymore. We need to be visual, we need to be social, we need to be uh, much more local, we need to be on every available channel to experience our brand. And that brand also needs to be different in every one of those mediums, based on the strengths of those mediums, but it needs to be consistent as well. So it's a question of, of getting those two things right.